Medea was the daughter of the king of Colchis with the goddess Hecate. Medea, as the daughter of the goddess of magic, was considered a mighty sorceress. When the hero Jason docked in Colchis in search of the Golden Fleece, Medea heatedly fell in love with him. The hero swore by the gods that Medea would be his only love in life if she could help him accomplish his task. Due to Medea's powers, Jason managed to defeat the dragon that protected the Golden Fleece. Medea ran away from Colchis with her loved one, but the king did not allow Jason to leave his land with such a preciousness. The witch stabbed her own brother and threw his pieces into the sea, forcing her father to stop the chase to collect the parts of his beloved son. With Jason, Medea had two sons, Fairies and Murmurus, but her story with the hero would not have a happy ending. After returning to Thessaly, Jason was banished by King Pelias from the kingdom that was his, according to law. Medea plotted a terrible plan as vengeance. Before Pelias' daughters, she sacrificed an old ram and threw it into a cauldron. After completing her spell, a young and full of energy ram emerged from it. Medea said that she could do the same for old King Pelias. With that, the princesses killed their own father and threw his body into the cauldron so that he could become young again. But they were fooled by Medea, and the king never returned from the world of the dead. But Medea's atrocities would go on. Jason demoted Medea to a mere concubine and married Princess Crusa of Corinth. As an act of vengeance, Medea was responsible for the princess's death, making sure that Jason could not find solace anywhere. Medea caused the death of her own children with Jason. The witch fled from Jason's wrath in her flying chariot, a gift from Helios. Then Medea went to Athens and married King Aegeus. With the king, she had a son called Medus. When Theseus, son of Aegeus, visited Athens for the very first time, Medea tried to poison the hero but was stopped by Aegeus. Theseus banned the witch and her son. After that, Medea went back to Asia where her son would reign over the Medus Empire, which would be the foundation of the mighty Persian Empire. The Greek playwright Euripides wrote Medea, a play in which the witch is the main character, something rare for that time. In ancient Greece, women were second-class citizens. In his work, Medea revealed herself as a woman who never accepted to be just a pawn in the hands of men. A woman who has the defiance to challenge the power of patriarchy could only be registered as a woman with outbursts of madness. Nowadays, Medea is still studied as a proto-feminist figure.